and welcome to Davlin's Toolkit Series. I'm Ruth Jacob, Marketing and Public Relations alongside Davlin's Managing Partner, Lynn Barker. At Davlin, we speak business and we understand technology. Today we're presenting an example of a common business problem that we're using technology to solve using IBM WebSphere Portlet Factory. Businesses use portal technology to integrate many systems behind a single plate of glass. Data from these systems are displayed in portlets that are arranged on pages on that plate of glass. It can be kind of difficult to design an application that displays the information needed in such a limited space available. So here to help us explain is Lynn Barker. Lynn is a portal developer and Davlin's WebSphere Portlet Factory Top Gun instructor and travels all over the country to show folks how to effectively use WebSphere Portlet Factory. Welcome to the series, Lynn. Thanks a lot, Ruth. So Lynn, could you maybe explain to us how WebSphere Portlet Factory really helps these developers in saving time and space? Well, I can. Uh, WebSphere Portlet Factory is a rapid application development tool for WebSphere Portal. It speeds up time to development of a lot of portals, and we're going to show you one example where this comes into play, and this is the, through the use of dynamic model containers. Okay. Um, I want to show you an example in uh, a portal application where this is used, and then we'll show you behind the scenes how that was made in, in Portlet Factory. Sounds perfect. Here we have a uh, human resources application that allows you to search for employees by the date they were hired. Okay. Once I do my search, I get a result set that has, gives me the ability to look at the detail of the employee record or the department that they work for. Okay. And when I click on the, either one of them, the results show up in the detail container portlet on the right. Okay. Here we have the example of the uh, employee record, which looks one way and came from one data source. And then the department record, which looks completely different and came from another data source. So Len, I mean, these are literally completely two different formats that are right in the same place. They are, and the way that it had to be done um, outside of Portlet Factory was that you would have to create a separate detail container portlet for every link you, you created on, on the, in the results portlet on the left. In Portlet Factory, we can reduce that down to just a single one for as many source portlets as you, right. you have. So what I'd like to do is show you how this works in Portlet Factory. Sounds great. This works in Portlet Factory through the use of events and model containers. Here in my detail container portlet, I have a builder over here for a model container builder, and I have event handlers. Okay. All I have to do to make this work is go into my employee search results portlet and create a link that fires an event. The event tells all the other uh, models in the portlet, in the in portlet factory, which uh, employee record I clicked on, which model I want to load. And so then when it gets back to the um, detail container portlet, my event handler simply runs a little if statement that checks to see what I, checked, I clicked on, and then will load into the model container builder the correct uh, model and pass it the, ver the information it needs to load the correct data. Wow, That's it. So it translated, translates it for you right there, shows up right there. It, it puts it right there, and the important thing for everyone to remember is this is done at generation time. This, every time someone comes in, this runs at runtime. I don't have to hardwire all these beforehand. It makes <laughs> it simple. I definitely see how that can save some time. But, I mean, where can you learn all these little details? Well, um, for the longest time, the only way to learn that would be through trial and error, which could take you six months to a year. I bet employers loved that. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of time consuming, <laughs> especially when they had uh, projects that were, you know, deadlines in a month or two. So what we did at Davlin was we put together a Top Gun application development class for Web's Portlet Factory. Now students can simply attend our class for five days, and then uh, the next work day, they can go back to work and they'll be able to be productive uh, Portlet Factory developers. In fact, this example that I gave you here is off of Lesson 10 in our class, in which you, you cover in about two hours. Uh, so you learn how to do the whole thing in just two hours. That's right. And then you can go back home or to your office and shoot one out be for your productive. boss the next day. That's right. That's absolutely amazing. Well, I definitely hope you learned a thing or two with our special guest, Lynn Barker, today. We certainly encourage all of you to check out Portlet Factory for yourself. You can also log on to our website at davlin.com to learn a little bit more information, as well as feel free to fill out that Contact Us form. Davlin offers several solutions, including training, mentoring, and implementation to solve all of your critical business needs. Feel free to check it out today.